Hey Toy Fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing. This one's kind of an old school oddity that I had that I was just had a move, so I was going through some of my stuff, seeing what I like to open, and since I had, um, you know, uh, opened uh, some toys recently that I thought would be cool with the water display, I thought I'd go back and dig this one out. And this is um, Stan Winston's Monsters. Uh, I believe that was the line. That's what it was called. Stan Winston's Creatures. My fault. And this was the sh the she creature, if I remember correctly. Um, one of my cousins for my birthday years ago. Whenever this came out, let's see what was the year. This said 2001. Wow, 2001. I want to say she got me the whole line. Um, I had never seen them before, and I unboxed a couple of them, and you know had them on display with like Hellboy figures at the time or something like that, and I thought they were pretty cool. Um, but anyways, this is the she creature, and on the back, it looks like they had a couple different ones. They had, uh, looks like I had that one. I had the whole set, I want to say, at one point if I didn't sell them. But it was like a swamp monster, and there was a spider, um, it was a caveman guy, uh, a knight, and then the she creature. Um... Yeah, they were all pretty neat. They're more statues, like, uh, from that time, you know, the early 2000s, late 90s. There's a lot of more just static statue figure, figures as opposed to high articulation. Um, they were still figuring out the, the action figure game or the collectible, uh, you know, the collectible market figure game, one or the other. But let's get this guy open, our girl, because it's the she creature, and see what it's all about. Did I cut it good enough? Maybe not. Let's see what we got here. Mm. All right. And, mm. Bear with me. Some almost 20 year old plastic uh, bubble blister. It's giving me a fight. But yeah, I remember seeing these when Toys R Us was around. These were just on the shelves forever. Um, discounted, so yeah, thought it'd be cool. Oh man, and just in case uh, you want, you wondered, you can still just download the behind the scenes CD ROM and uh, see how they made this figure. Man, Stan Winston is giving us behind the scenes fe features of our action figures, so that was cool. Oh, uh, now this, this comes with my biggest mortal enemy, Twist Ties. Um, so let me fight with this as I talk to you for a minute. Um, but yeah, I thought these were cool. These are definitely cool for, uh, your monster dioramas or shelves or whatever. Um, I just remember with the Hellboy, I thought, uh, that was a pretty cool display with, uh, the spider guy and the, uh, the spider guy and, like, the swamp monster. I thought those were pretty cool. And they come with, like, uh little stands as well that were more diorama pieces that pretty cool wish more figures came with that these days and didn't charge you an arm and leg for them so let's see how do i get you out okay uh-huh still a hidden twist tie here let's see if i can get this one shot okay that's cool and this is, this is kind of neat. Um, let's see if the, since it's been in a package for so long, let's see if the paint comes off or does some weird chemical reaction smell comes off in my hands. Doesn't look like it. So, comes, comes with a cool little wooden dock um, for you to, with these figures, you kind of had to peg them in, if I remember correctly, because they didn't stand well on their own. Like I said, they were more um, statues. Kind of like all the McFarlane toys at the time um, that were just, you know, static statue figures, which is cool. I don't like just put them on your shelves or whatnot. If you're not making stop motion animation movies or anything along those lines, it should be just fine. Um, but yeah, and original monsters, just, just cool. You know, Stan Winston doing his thing. Um, so. It's got, there's some articulation, arms move, there's, there's, oh, watch, watch me break it right on camera. he's got, uh, got some ball joints right there. So you can do a little bit of posing, a little, just a little bit. 
but and then kind of pivots at the, at the waist it's got a great paint job on it like look at this look at this guy he's got like a marble uh green and over um it's got the the cream flesh tone going there look at the top of the skull this is this thing is really well designed um pivots at the waist oh okay i see okay so yeah he stands or she stands uh not too bad and goes on the display so that's pretty cool um kind of hunched over i guess you probably can work a little something not too much but also came with <laughs> that's how you knew you were dealing with stan winston came with a severed head uh just in case you needed some extra gore there you go you can see all the chopping but this head for just a pack and it's got it's hairs nicely uh nicely washed on there and it's got his eyes rolling into the back of his head let's see if we can focus that a little bit probably not oh well um i think she could hold it so that's cool and there's also some other accessories um there's a little knife maybe it just plugs in somewhere on on here but yeah just a little knife with uh hey it's even got a little blood on it so that's cool um and move this out the way a hook uh so yeah your your dock is complete you know you got your hook and your knife and, and the head just popped off there um I think she's going to look good uh, standing next to my, let's see, my Baron Benz, who uh, is going to be kind of lonely on the shelf. So so that's kind of cool, something for him to fight against or just stand by, you know. So, uh, yeah, get him out of there. But the sheet creature, um, I don't know what she goes for now. Back in the day, she was, you can get her for 10, under 10 bucks, but... Uh, hey, maybe she's 20. Who knows? Or maybe uh, she'll spike. What do I know? And I'll, I'll be sad when I look it up and then find out that she's worth something and I just opened her. But whatever. It's not like I was. Uh, she's been sitting in a, in a bin for almost 20 years. What's, why not give her some air, right? Um, hopefully she doesn't fall apart. Regardless, cool looking monster. Um, will look great on the shelf. So. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you picked these up back in the day, if you remember these. If not, uh, happy hunting. See you next time.